we formed about four years ago. And the purpose of this group forming was to build on the legacy of those who've gone before us. To, to reach back and grab some of those people that have done so much for this community and build on that legacy as, a, as opposed to trying to reinvent the wheel. So we decided that we would organize, galvanize, and mobilize the grassroots community. And when you say that, what are you saying, Brother Gary? Basically, rebuild the community. Good morning, servants, because that's what today is about. Right. It's about serving. And so I'm here today serving, and I came all the way from Kentucky. I work with the uh, institution for the Center for Community Development. And um, when I was approached by some of the community builders about this fabulous project that they have with this park, and then they told me about this woman. And I started to research, and I was so touched by it. I said, you know what? I think I can help you. And so from that, we were able to get a small grant to help with the beautification process. And so we have a lot of students here, too. Are the students from Albany State, can you raise your hand back in the back? A lot of them have showed up out here. And today, all over the United States, there is uh, service projects in about eight HBCUs around the country. So this here is going to get a lot of national attention, and people all over the United States of America are going to understand the importance of this kind of service. And so I tell the people it may be cold, but you got to remember all those people who served so that we can be here today, served in all kinds of conditions. As we looked at the play last night, 400 pounds. We'd like to bring up our bishop, Bishop John Burr, with our welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Bishop. You are welcome this morning, especially this inclement weather. All right. We want to thank Pastor Sanders so much for allowing us to use his facilities here. Amen. Out of the weather. We want to say to all the guests today, you're welcome. And to all the ones that we have called and that we don't know what to call, you are welcome as well. Because the community building, we are the all many community building. It's amazing what you can do when you receive God's power. Yes, sir. It is compelling that you be committed to organize, to governize, to inform God's people about God's power. And equip family with tools to empower a better life. So they can work to build a better community. You have done this. Because we are the community builders. Welcome you here today. You're welcome once. You're welcome twice. And may God bless you. And keep on working in our community. Because this is our community. And we must build this community. Be what it is. Especially the Good Life City. That we all advocate that it is. Thank God for you for coming out today. You are welcome. reminded of how tenacious and, and tough Mary was as she picked 400 pounds of cotton in a day and for me that's not a bad I, I, I just can't see that um, as she found her way to Savannah State in spite of all the odds against her she challenged the horrors of racism and Fitzgerald and in Savannah and then here in Auburn Oh, man. Who I have a pleasure speaking with today? Um, I'm Tejan Owens from the Auburn High School Marching Band. Um, I'm the drum line captain today. We're going to be playing for Mary Cummings. Um, we're going to march through this cold weather and get down there to their park and hopefully put on the show for the people and um, give them something they want to see real quick. 
Hopefully we're sound good. It's cold out there. Well, y'all sound good in here in the practice. I, I was like, I was on the outside. I said, let me see what they're doing inside here. They're all practicing. I'm like, wow. We just trying to warm up real quick. Right. mathematics and physics. She was smart at Savannah State College, uh, which is now Savannah State University. That's coming from Fitzgerald, coming from the cotton fields, going to Savannah and majoring in mathematics and physics. That's a testimony to the talent that she had. She was president of the Honor Society, but she took with her a conscience, and she established a college chapter at Savannah State of the NAACP. But in behalf of the 435 members of the House of Representatives, the 100 and members of the Senate, President of the United States, and the 730,000 people of the 2nd Congressional District, it is my privilege and my honor in the name of Mary Young Cummings to present this flag to be flown over the park named in her honor. In saying this today, January 23rd, 2016, the City of Albany recognizes this day as a national day of service, and we identify the park that so many of us have called South Jefferson Park as the Mary Moss Young Cummings Memorial Park. Amen. Therefore, on behalf of Dorothy B. Hubbard, the Mayor of Albany, I do hereby proclaim January 23rd, 2016, as the Mary Young Cummings Day. Thank you, and may God be the victim of you. In college, Mary was smart. She founded the NAACP Youth Chapter. She was a champion of civil rights. She was a champion for women's rights and for maximizing the voting strength of African Americans throughout the world. She always stood up. She always, listen to the word, young folks, she always stood up and pointed out disparities. She yes. was always, and that word disparity means the little Save folks. On the other side, and build the bridge to span the time. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting strength with building here. Your journey will end with the evening day. You never again will pass this way. You've crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build this bridge at evening time? The builder lift his old gray head, good friend. And the path that I've come, he said, they'll follow after me today, a youth, a youth whose feet must pass this way. The chasm that has been of naught to me, to that fair-headed youth, may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I'm building this bridge for him. Yes. The next Maybe the Lord has kept me these 89 years to say something us today. Yes, through many dangers, calls and snares, I have already come. But it was grace brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. And I'll be yet alive to see each other face. Mm -hmm. 
glory and praise to Jesus give for his redeeming grace. Say is uh, borrow a phrase that I heard my um, good friend Joanna Washington at the ASU say. She said, "If you ever see a turtle on top of a fence post, just know he didn't get there by himself." Um, that's one of the things, uh, and all of the wonderful things that uh, everybody said about my mom. Uh, that uh, I just want you all to take with you that she didn't do uh, all these great things alone. Um, she had an army behind her.